Family is a driving force behind many successful operations, but one ranch in Bruno, Idaho is seven generations in the making and still going strong. Reporter Brian Baxter explains how their hard work and determination create a rich family lifestyle. The western way of ranching business is to build off the heritage that you, uh, that you have and be able to pass it on to the next generation. One look at this beautiful landscape in Bruno, Idaho, and it's easy to understand why the Collier family has been ranching in this area for over 130 years. Well, it all began in 1876. My great-grandfather came out here from Cambridge, Ohio with his family. I was raised as a little kid, what's now under the water, the house, original house. We moved over up out of there in 1936 and bought a ranch, and that part is still incorporated in this ranch, and then we added other ranches to it. While the landscape has changed over time with the addition of a reservoir, there's one thing that has stayed the same, the importance of family. Four generations of colliers ranging in age from three months to 86 years old live together on the ranch. We're very lucky to have my mom and dad uh, here on the ranch, uh, still very active in the operation. Kyle got married and decided to come back and continue the operation. Him and his wife Bobby uh, live here as well as their two kids Piper and Cruz and then of course, Sherry and I, and, and uh, my daughter Katie's actively involved as well. It's nice that my daughter can, you know, run down the hill and go down and see my grandparents, and then she can run up to my mom and dad's in the, in the same amount of time. Hardly a week goes by that we don't all get together and eat meals together, and, and um, somebody fixes some for each other, and we have a lot of camaraderie of ship right in our own family. Along with a strong family connection comes a love for the ranch that's passed down from generation to generation. When I was in college, I used to call home once a day to find out not so much about how everybody was doing, but how the cattle were doing or, or what was happening on the, on the ranch on a daily basis. I mean, it, it's one thing that seems like it's just kind of bred into you a little bit. As the Collier family grows, so does their operation. But no matter what changes, they hope Hereford cattle will always remain at the heart of the ranch. The real plus for Hereford cattle is the efficiency and their ability to adapt under uh, harsh range conditions. That's always been their strength. I guess uh, feet and legs and structure on the cattle and their ability to travel. We've always had Her Hereford cattle. We had commercial Herefords. Uh, I can remember a time that we wouldn't see a black, a black one on this ranch. Back in uh, oh, about 1976, Sherry and I got married and we kind of changed the operation from a commercial operation, went to purebred Herefords. And then in 92 we have, uh, sold the commercial part of the operation and then started uh, with some Angus and uh, got in the registered Angus business as well. The two breeds really complement each other and it's interesting um, since we've had both of the cattle to, f to figure out the strengths and weaknesses of both breeds and, uh, and then actually then you, it makes you understand why those two breeds need to be crossed. Their expertise is paying off big. The Colliers have won many top awards from cattle shows around the country. We've been really lucky, you know, in the in the past probably 10 years in at the National Western Stock Show, which is kind of our Super Bowl of cattle shows, if you will. You know, we had two bulls that were two-time national champions in back-to-back -back years, and that's pretty rare. You know, we've been able to have a couple, uh, two or three national champion females as well. Although their roots date back to the 1800s, the Collier family uses modern technology to help out on their big annual sale day and to meet the ever-changing needs of their customers. Our big, big payday is sale day. We normally have two to three hundred people at the ranch uh, sale day and, and we try to offer about 150 to 170 bulls. Uh, usually 50 or 60 females as well. We have 
quite a few people that uh, feel comfortable enough with our program that they're able to, to uh, stay at home and bid over the internet and uh, we stand behind our cattle and they uh, know the reputation of what they'll do and, and uh, so they don't have to travel uh, like they have in the past. No matter what changes lay ahead of them, the Collier family hopes one thing will never change, living their daily lives together on the ranch. You have a different mentality, I guess, when you wake up in the morning. You're not working from 9 to 5 and go home and you don't care about what happens the rest of the day. You're, you, you have a lot more invested interest in, in what you're doing. Since it is a family operation, it sure enough makes you care just a little bit more. Reporting from the Collier, Hereford and Angus Ranch in Bruno, Idaho, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Join other cattlemen and cattlewomen like the Collier family as members of NCBA. Just give us a call at 1-866-USA-BEEF or visit us at beefusa.org. We'll be right back.